G'day mate, Simon, VA7 BIX. Holy smokes, it's dumping snow. And guys, I've had probably, for me, probably one of the happiest, proudest moments I've ever had in ham radio. Can't believe this. I've had uh, quite a breakthrough and it's been a challenge and I was almost going to go live. I was so excited. But anyway, uh, stick around and let's get on with the show and we will do the big reveal. Woohoo! Alrighty, mate, so here we are. Now, remember a while ago, I'm gonna, here's the link up here. Remember a while ago, guys, I did a video on tent poles and uh, there was uh, two sets of 17 and a half foot tent poles. And on one of them, I put one of those really cool couplers, which is also here, so that you could then put that onto a 3824 thread uh, coupler. But anyway, I've been racking my brain uh, with this, the, about what else can I do except for a really, really great vertical. And we're going to do that. We're going to actually do the great vertical if it stops snowing. But there's something I wanted to really share with you. And it's still very much in the works. And you might see oh, it's blowing and it's snowing and it's windy. And I love it. And guys, you might see that uh, pole, tent pole in the background. Yes, you're about to see... This is the big reveal, guys. So I'm going to actually close the case of my radio because it's dumping snow here. And uh, and then I'll put, come back here and uh, and get out from the umbrella and uh, we'll get the umbrella up and and hopefully we can make some QSOs. And here we go. Let's have a look. The big reveal. Woo! Alrighty, guys. Holy smokes. This is crazy. All right. Here's the big reveal, guys. I'm going to turn this around right now and you're going to see what antenna I'm talking about. So there's the umbrella, guys, and check it out. Holy smokes, there you go, look at that. The two tent poles, guys. There's your driven element, and there is your reflector. Look at that. And we've got it on the same block that I've been using, just up four feet, and I've got it on a, on a uh, the boom fastened to that. And uh, I actually had to put this section on because I was fiddling around with four feet, and then the thing with four feet is it wasn't quite long enough, but I'll give you all the measurements, guys. So there we go. There's a two element beam for 10 meters using the two sets of 17 and a half foot tent poles, guys. So when you buy the tent poles, you will get two sets of them and you can make yourself a fantastic vertical, but you can also make yourself at, with PVC an unreal beam. It's, it's incredible. It's absolutely mind blowing. I got the SWR 1.5 and I know I can get it even lower. So what I've done up here, guys, I've put a, I just put a metal sleeve over the two bits with a piece of dowel in the middle. I taped the, the outer side of the tent pole so it wouldn't short out on the outer sleeve. And then I've just wrapped it with some ordinary electrician's tape. And then I've scratched off the paint here and here. And then there goes a nice short lead into my feed point. I've got the coax running to that nail and down. And that nail actually is above the four foot section. And uh, thanks, Daryl. Uh, November 4, Zulu Delta X-Ray. My buddy Daryl, he uh, came up with this bright idea using screws to uh, to be a bit of a weight bearer to hold the weight of the of the actual reflector and the driven element. So I'm still going to work on that. But the main thing is it's it's a it's a, it's a prototype and it's actually it's really windy and you can tell. Look at this. It's really blowing. It's snowing, and I would say it's probably blowing 20 knots from the north and it's holding up beautifully. And I've just got a couple of stays going off here. Whoa! Holy smokes! All right. So guys, I'm going to try to. Whoa! Okay, here we go. Everything's blowing everywhere, and I'm going to be back in a sec. Alrighty, mates. Here we are. I better get some footage in case this works. It's absolutely freezing. So there's the reflector. And what I've done is a really tight little half hitch there. I've got it running all the way almost to the other end because I've got that coupling on the end there or that connection for a 3824 and then I put a screw here so then that'll allow me to twist that a few times to to elevate these and then over here we've got the we've got the driven element and I know that this is uh, insulated in the middle here and it's cure. I'm going to be very curious to see how it works. So there it is. There's the floor print, and this is the two element 10 meter Yagi. Woohoo! All right, let's get on with this. 
This is amazing, guys. All right, I've just done a couple of adjustments. Look at that. We are solid. 1.3. Now let's go down to the, let's go down to say 28300 and see where it's at. About the same. Now let's go to the top end of the band. It's a bit lower. So, so what I've done with the coax, I've just got a better, better SWR. Now I'm running it straight along the top to the bracket and down and uh it's great and then you know like this this is pretty cool and then this is starting to take a bit of weight and i'm going to see if i can activate i'm sorry guys i'm kind of i'm kind of lost for words here i'm so overjoyed with this this is unbelievable holy smokes a beam with uh tent poles guys can you believe it So guys, there we go. First contact on the beam. We have it pointing basically due south. Unbelievable. Victor Alpha 7, Bravo Indy X-Ray. The time is 2.57 p.m. And I am coming to you. I cannot believe this. I've used tent poles as a 10 meter uh, Yagi two element beam and it is working. The SWR is 1.5 and I cannot believe it. It's working, woohoo. So anyway, let's see if we can activate this park and uh, you guys will be on my video. This is Victor Alpha 7, Bravo India X-Ray, QRZ. 50 Bravo 5, Lima, Julia, Oscar. Roger, roger, well it's working fine. You're 5'8", 5'8", and to West Texas along with Kilo 5, Whiskey Papa Hotel. Roger, roger, well it's working well. I'm just wondering what's holding up the tent. Ah, uh, <laughs> Roger, Roger, uh, well, uh, Venezuela, holy smokes, my friend. Well, it's snowing up here, and I'm coming to you on a two element, uh, two element beam made out of tent poles. 258 QRZ. Uh, it did or it didn't? Oh, it made a huge difference. You dropped down to about a 5.2, came up to a 5.7. Roger, mate. Well, just stand by. So now turn it round to the east. So right now I'm pay I'm, I've got it facing south, and I'm going to come around to the east. So now we are at southeast, and now I would say we are at uh, due east. Uh, due east, how copy? Roger, roger. Peak in 5.7, Woo! Roger, mate. You, you just came up to about 10 over, QSL. Yes! What? This is Victor Alpha 7, Bravo in the X-ray, QRZ. Woo. Okay, Whiskey Zero, Bravo Oscar Yankee, 5-9, buddy, QSL. 5-8, uh, 5-8 into uh, northern Minnesota. You know, you're making it fun with your enthusiasm. Thank you very much. Well, you've got a loud and clear signal into Minnesota. It's working fantastic, and uh, you're, you're making me smile, friend. Good job. Kilo, Kilo, help there. Don't get the radio. radio. Oh, my goodness. So, right, you're 5'5 you're, uh, five, five here in Minnesota. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Victor Alpha 7, Bravo India X-Ray, Victor Alpha 7, Bravo India X-Ray, at Park Victor Echo 5539 and Victor Echo 4258, we're calling CQ Poda and standing by. Hello, Bravo, 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 Roger, mate, I'm going to turn the beam back around towards you. This is really fun. I, I, now I know why the guys with beams have all the fun uh, turning the thing around. Hi, hi. <laughs> Sometimes they don't work, though. 
November Alpha 5, Alpha Radio. Thank you very much. 5 and 7 here in Texas. Thanks for being out there. No worries, mate. Hey, can I do a quick test on you, buddy? I just want to see how directional this is. You bet. Go ahead. All right, mate. So now I've got the beam. I've got the beam pointing south. And uh, how copy? Oh, man, you almost disappeared. Oh, I love it. All right, buddy. Now I'm going to come back around to you. Now we're at the southeast. We're going to keep going. Now we're east, southeast. And now we are east. Uh, copy? Oh, yeah. You're back up about five and seven. Woohoo! Well, that is fantastic. Thanks for the uh, great signal report there, buddy. And uh, thanks for playing radio with me today. You bet. It's working fine and dandy. There's Australia. There's uh, Ray. Out a 5.4 QSL. Kilo, 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 Alpha, November Echo. Okay, Kilo, Kilo, 4, Alpha, November Echo. Holy smokes, mate. You are a booming 5.9. I'm going to turn my beam around to the southeast. So how's that, buddy? All right. Well, yeah, that jumped you up a little bit. Came Woo! Out an S unit when you moved it around. Hello, November four, Sierra Whiskey, Sierra. You are a five nine, buddy. QSL. Woo! I got you about a Holy smokes, mate! Well, that is amazing. And uh, Dennis was in Florida just before you, and. Uh, this is the strongest I've ever heard, Florida, buddy, and it must be because of the beam. I can't believe it. You're booming in. Roger, Roger. I talked to you the one day you made an antenna out of the electric cord, out of your extension cord, and you are a strong man, too. Roger, mate. Well, this is a, this is a tent pole, buddy. This is dome tent poles and a beam. QSL? QSL, <laughs> you do great with those antennas you make up, man. Again, for the contact, Simon. 70 degrees. I'll let you get some more contact. So, guys, this is truly amazing. So, with the dome tent poles, you've got 13 pieces in each section, and there's two sections or two sets. So, for the reflector, I have 14, and the driven, I have 12. And then what you can do is just leave it. And uh, I'm going to include the video I did last week when I was working this out of uh, using this as a vertical whip with the radial system, the same radial system that I use. So VK2, Yankee Alpha Kilo, another Aussie in New South Wales. How you doing, buddy? Uh, you're about a 5'4", QSL. Five three into Australia. I'm a beam. VK four Yankee Alpha Kilo. Alrighty, mate. So we're gonna have a let's have a quick close up look here. So there's the same block that I use, and there we go. I've got the I've got the uh, drill spades in there. There's my four foot piece of dowel going up to the clamp, and this boom is a total of six feet and these spaces are six feet apart. I'll, I'll get the measurements for you. Basically that's got 14 sections in it. That's the reflector and this has got 12 sections. Just put yourself a little sleeve of dowel about that long in there and just, uh, just etch out or score out a little groove so that the uh, elastic band can run through it. And then any sort of sleeve, I actually put a metal sleeve on the outside of it, but then before I did that, I just put some uh, electrical tape over the outside of the of the actual uh, dome tent uh, poles, just so it wouldn't conduct. What I would do is take this up another four feet and this thing would be the bomb. I'm walking here, so there's my, that's eye level to me. And so that's that little coupler I was telling you about. So this guy then can double as a, as a vertical, right? But that's basically at uh, nose height to me. So that's about, that's about only five feet off the ground, right? So a quarter wave of 10 meters, you want that thing at least to be seven or eight feet. But uh, I'm thrilled. All right, guys, the weather is crazy. I'm freezing, holy smokes. So guys, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of footage from the other day and uh, all I did was use the reflector as a vertical whip, basically. And then I just dropped the sections. I had that thing 1.6 to one on 10 meters, one to one on 12, one to one on 15, and one to one on 20. 
please hit like and subscribe. I'm really excited about this and I hope you guys are too because it's a beauty. It's easy, it's quick and it's really fun to deploy. All right, guys, I will see you soon. I'm going home to warm up. Over and out. So guys, you know what? To say that it was a bit of a failure, the other thing that I'm working on, it's definitely not. I had the SWR at a steady three to one, but hey, that's not good enough for me. I wanna get it so it's less than two to one, so you don't need a tuner. And hey, I mean, Edison, how many times did he fail? Or uh, Alexander Bell or Marconi? So you just don't give up. I'm not gonna give up on this. So the plan was I was gonna come out here and do two parts to this, uh, this show. One was going to be about quote unquote X, but I'm not going to reveal that. I want to keep it a surprise. And B was this guy here using the using the uh, the tent poles and just seeing how high or seeing how many sections we can add with that radial system and see where the SWR is. Now, what we're not going to do, guys, I could easily just add, you know, let's say for example, um, uh, 15 meters calls for seven and a half sections. So I'm going to either put it, use it at seven or eight. I'm not going to add wire, but the uh, the uh, caveat is, guys, if you want to, you could easily just add some wire from, say, the seven sections, add six inches of just stiff uh, copper wire and easily get it resonant one-to-one -one on every band. So this is really lightweight. All I've done is just fastened this onto this uh, block that I use for the tape measure. And here it is, the good old, the good old tent posts. Kilo Alpha One Echo Victor. QSL on the 5-9. You are 5-5 five, five in Missouri on that tent pole. Over. So I'm thinking for 12 meters, we just need to add one. Here we are, one to one. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Woohoo! So five sections is one to one. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm not going to put this video out until I get the other one sorted. I'm going to get that rocking. I'm going to do some more research, and it's going to be a cracking video. What you can do with the tent pole antenna. Woohoo! November Charlie 4, it's slightly more rocker. QSL? QSL on the tent pole antenna. We're having storms. We're having storms here in the Carolinas, Roger. Roger, Roger, buddy. Coast to coast on a tent pole. I love it, buddy. Well, you stay, you stay dry and safe and all that, my friend, in 7-3. 7-3, safety, Simon. Have fun, buddy. Thank you, RZ. Thank you, RZ. Thank you, RZ. Thank you, RZ.